What's up, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nigi So Nicknacks I'm a chips and cheese. Umpano se tepe not umpano se limkumbi umpano ohamba umshaba chigeleze. I'm back and um, on today's episode we are talking about hijacking. Um, how to prevent hijacking actually, not 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 hijacking because that's a scary thing. But um, just giving you guys some tips and tricks um, into preventing being hijacked and hopefully it helps you guys. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. So, one of the first things that you want to do uh, when, when, when owning a car is, I mean, this won't necessarily stop you from being hijacked, but in the case that you are hijacked, is to have insurance um, so that you're not actually left stranded. Um, typically having an insurance which covers your car in, in terms of theft and stuff like that and also having roadside assistance so if they do steal your car you're able to call someone or press a panic button or something and assistance will arrive even if you're stranded in the middle of nowhere um, so that would be like the number one thing yeah, just in general insurance is very very important and I know we like to overlook it so please guys insurance is quite important um, and then now being inside the car you're driving around um, places wherever you might be driving around I don't know but just your level of awareness of your surroundings is very important um, because there's so much stuff that happens around us that we, we don't know about you know and when you're driving a car which is such it's, it's an asset it's you've put so much money into it you know it, it, you need to be aware of what's going on around you in order to keep it safe um, so for example uh, I mean, I always find myself checking my mirrors, checking my surroundings, like if I'm waiting for someone outside their place, um, you know, oh, it's going to put my mind in five minutes and then you have to wait. Like, look around, don't just go on your phone, uh, just look around, check the rear view mirrors, check the side mirrors, you know, look in front of you, any strange figures, you know. Another thing, if you're waiting, like, Put the car, leave the car on. Um, some cars are fancy; they got stop starts, and that's cool, you know. You know, uh, so you can leave the engine on, but then it'll switch off. But like when you need to drive off, it just automatically kicks in and you drive away. You know, that's important. Don't put the handbrake up; just keep your foot on the brake. You know, so that if anything pops off, anything just happens out of nowhere, you're ready, you're gone. You know, things like that, small things. Um, so just just be aware of your surroundings. Um, Another thing uh, that that people do, you know, this this habit of um, when you get to like a stop sign or you get to a robot, and some guys, I mean, I was used to do it. It's very childish, actually, is to stop like right up behind um, another car. Don't do that. That's 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 just asking for trouble. Cause that just means if you are going to be hijacked someone can box you in quite easily even the car that's behind you can stop and not give you enough space so that if someone like comes for those smash and grabs you can't turn the wheel and just drive off into the next lane and you know try and find a way to get out of that situation because you're so close to the car in front of you try and and give yourself at least see the bottom the, see the road before the car that's where that way you know that you know okay i've got enough space to just turn full lock and accelerate and go without hitting the car in front and even if you do it will be a small like a minor scratch or whatever but at least you you've maintained that that you know sort of safety a lot of people tend to park their cars not a lot of people some people like anxious drivers or cautious drivers or should I say something like that even female drivers do this and this is nothing against female drivers but don't go park your car on its own like you get to a parking lot and you're like, oh, I don't want to look for parking and you go like far away and you go park your car by itself there. Don't do that. Um, I know it's easier uh, for you to park and you don't need to worry about scratching or people scratching your car and all of that stuff. But you just single your car out, right? And when it's far away on its own and you know, no one's really paying attention to it, it's very easy for people to, to do weird weird stuff to it. the same can be said for a car that's parked in a congested car park but sometimes you find car parks are mainly packed near the entrance and there's a lot of movement there uh, and also the car guards are nearby there or, or anything but there's a lot of movement even the lights I know in some parking shopping centers the lights dim and all of that stuff 
uh, and they switch on when there's movement so you park your car far away nobody's there no one's watching it there's no real you know and you're just opening yourself up to to getting your car stolen um which is which is i mean it's it's unnecessary just park learn to park if you really need to learn to park and make you a better driver and make your life a whole lot easier park closer you don't need to push the trolley all the way just park amongst the other people and park properly okay uh, don't park and take two parking spaces i don't care what you drive you can still park properly when you drive up to your house so like most i think in johannesburg mostly um they they have hijacks i mean okay let me not say johannesburg only because i'm sure it's 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 uh, it's for the rest of the country it's just i've only really seen a lot of these things happen in johannesburg um it's when people are coming home like in the evening or in the morning leaving their house and they they block you off when you're on your driveway so to to counteract that you know i would say don't go into your driveway that's something that i don't do i stay on the road and wait for my gate to open before i drive in to my driveway um, because that just means if someone does rock up out of nowhere you can still drive off you're still on the road you're still safe Jay, you can move that yeah well and if you if you if you do that you, you, I mean you press your, your your remote before you actually arrive so you kind of slowly approach then the gate opens and you slide in as soon as you in close that gate you know just close it and and you should be okay you know but this thing of stopping looking for the keys whoa you know already you, you you're not doing what i told you to do in the beginning which is be aware of your surroundings so it's things like that be aware of your surroundings no you're coming home get your keys ready you know press the button let the gate open slowly approach look around no one's there go in you know just things like that you just need to to teach yourself um, another thing is distractions because a lot of what I'm saying like awareness and, and you know looking for your keys You know you need to not be distracted in order to to be able to think ahead like this So driving with your phone or you know answering a message at the stoplight or at the stop sign and you know Just losing focus of what's actually going on you're driving you know put your stuff away Drive when you get to where you need to get to then you can talk to whoever you need to talk to and trust me i'm guilty of this a lot i i uh, i don't know how often i'll be at like a red light and i'll quickly reply to a message and it turns green and people are hooting at me you know in that split second someone can smash the window grab your phone because it's, it's right here right it's right here grab your phone gone you know unnecessary again but just try not to be distracted and put your stuff away you know put your stuff away don't don't leave your phone on the on the seat next to you or in the center console put it in between your legs you know sit on it do whatever or put it in the in the in the door card you know um, put your laptops under the chairs or in the boot hide your stuff don't make it visible because if it's something that they can see that they can take they will hijack they will steal you know so it's the just be aware again just be aware of what's what's happening and, and know your area if you're driving in an area that you don't know then just act like just expect that you're going to get hijacked doesn't matter if it's a sub or if you're not used to it just be on high alert because anything can happen you know anything can happen uh, I saw on Twitter once uh, Mercedes AMG GLC 63 like brand new and they stole it first day and, and gutted the whole car. I used to think that if you buy like a really expensive car, or like you know, high tech car, these these Mercedes, BMW, and all that, they won't touch it because it's, it's too complicated to steal. Um, clearly, you know, our hijacking game is is on another level now. So that doesn't actually mean anything these days. If they can steal it, if there's an opportunity to steal it, they'll steal it. They'll take it. So. So just be aware of that, um, it's, it was pretty scary, I don't know what I'd do first day get in my car. I mean obviously if it, it would, should be insured because it's brand new and you'd get most of it back but yeah. Also going into buying a car, I made sure that I didn't buy like a white or a silver car because again, you must remember these people steal cars, 
and then they sell it for parts. They never like sell the car because you can't. It's I don't, well, I don't know. Maybe you can. It maybe it goes to Mozambique. I actually don't know. But most of the time, they'll strip it and they'll sell it for parts. So any panels that are like white or silver are easy to respray. So if you have a car that has a color which is friendly to being sprayed over, so a white car, a plain plain white car, like with nothing, gee, I don't know what else a car can have, but I'm just saying like, or a plain silver car, it, those are things that you need to kind of stay away of from, you know, um, because it, it makes their life easier. They'll target a car and they'll say, yeah, yeah, that one is fine, you know, can respray that, or, or maybe because there's a lot of white and, and silver cars on the road so you know take that extra time get a blue car you know get a red car you know get something different um, and and this business that you know if you buy a VW or if you buy uh, this whatever brand your is in charge that's the one that's gonna get stolen nah fam no such thing I've owned three polos three polos not one of them has been hijacked ever so it's all about you really and everything's relative of course there are more polos on the road hence the most cars that will be stolen or hijacked will be polos i mean it's it's common sense but the 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 likelihood of it happening sh it, i mean amongst polo drivers should be exactly the same as or very similar to the likelihood of it happening to maybe a toyota etios driver or you know it's all it's all relative but you know it's, it's it's your responsibility you need to be able to say i'm not gonna park in a place like this i'm not gonna go to a place like this i'm gonna be aware of my surroundings i'm gonna take active steps to make sure that i don't look like a great target to be hijacked yeah, well, that's all on you again at the end of the day it doesn't guarantee that your car will never be stolen i'm just lucky maybe um i do know of people who have been hijacked who have had their windows broken into and stuff like that and it is a sad reality but yeah those are my tips um, hopefully they help you hopefully this was uh, an informative video um, and yeah even now I'm, I'm sitting here doing a video uh, and I'm not really paying attention to my surroundings all for you guys <laughs> um, but yeah just just think about it uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips or where you think I might be wrong about certain things let's have a conversation you know um, because it's about the safety of our cars and every you, I mean you purchase a car and you expect to be able to look after it and to have it for a very long time until you get the next car so let's keep it that way South Africa um, and yeah you know uh, I hope you guys like the video please take a moment to smash the like button subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.